Moshe is here to help light your fashion fire and get out of that rut. So I guess, Moshe, the first thing I should ask you is how do you know if you're in a style slump? Well, Tracy, here are four things to look out for to know if you're in a wardrobe rut. One is, are you wearing the same thing every day? Like, are you just taking off your clothes, <laughs> putting them on your ironing board, and then putting them back on the next morning? <laughs> Number two is, are you wearing your workout clothes to work and to go out, but not to work out? <laughs> um, number three is, <laughs> Are you stopping noticing or really caring about stains on your clothing? You're just kind of going with it. Um, and number three is whenever you catch a glimpse of yourself in a reflective surface, you don't quite recognize the person that you see. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> I think a lot of people have I their hands up right now. People are like, that's me. You know, the whole, um, I would throw my clothes right into the hamper, uh, usually when I get home. Now I'm like... I think I can get another day out of you. So yeah, we're all sort of a little bit lax. And just to be clear, we are not judging anyone. Last year was tough. So how do we break yeah. out, Moshe? I wanted to start being its new year with a palette cleanse, Tracy. And okay. by this, I mean just bathe yourself in shades of cream, ivory, white, natural canvas, all of these tones, if you wear them head to toe, like I'm showing you here, I guarantee it's going to wipe the, clean, the slate clean. And also, you'll just feel very, almost like angelic and elegant, and it will just refresh you in such a lovely way. There's something about those beautiful dulcet tones that just like it does something, it calms you down, but it also makes you look pulled together. So I get where that suggestion comes from. Okay, your next tip uh, is one I think I'm gonna like. What else do you suggest? Yes, I like to call this my work suit, Tracy. Um, and this isn't your, you know, glam jumpsuit with any disco connotations. This is like <laughs> a utility work suit, sometimes called a boiler suit or a flight suit. Mm -hmm. So I would get it in quite a sturdy material, such as a denim. I have one actually in ivory, um, and I'm wearing it here. And Tracy, when I put this on, I am motivated to do things that I have been putting off in my life, like maybe take off all the decorations off the tree and finally get rid of it. Yesterday, I got under my sink and fixed my garburator. Wow. Um, it's amazing what a little work suit motivation will do. Okay, if a work suit is actually going to get me like under the sink fixing plumbing, I am all here for it. Next, you say, Moshe, try and do something a little bit high contrast. What do you mean by that? So some examples of that that I just pulled from my wardrobe, but you can make your own combinations at home and really have fun with it, are like a sequin turtleneck back to khaki green cargo pants. Mm -hmm. Or one of my favorite Nordic knits which sort of reminds me of my Icelandic grandma, but then I'll wear it with like a really sexy silk skirt that's slit to there. So it's things that don't necessarily normally belong together, but they're classic items in your wardrobe. Ooh, I love that. That'll knock you right out of the rut. The other thing you say, which is kind of similar, is take that statement jewelry and maybe like throw it on with a t-shirt. Maybe explain this one a little bit for us. Yes. Uh, my jewelry catch-all runneth over, and I just am all about piling it on these days with even more casual clothes. So even like this example, you know, take your workout clothes and maybe throw on a sort of smart tweed jacket with it and a bunch of jewelry, and then I'm really into baseball caps these days too, can be a great accessory when you just can't deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a new brand called Varsity, which makes really polished caps, which I think is a nice twist. Um, so that's a really great way. And then my friend um, Amanda Klutz has a line of t-shirts called Hooray For. She's all different sayings. So of course I have the Hooray For Canadians one. <laughs> just a great white t-shirt. And it's perfect way to just pile on the jewelry with that. Uh, and of course with the Hooray For t-shirts, a portion of the proceeds go towards COVID efforts, which is something that's very close to Amanda's heart, obviously. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Now for the last one, you say, look to the lipsticks. Are we talking about a little bit of color? Yes. You know what I was realizing is that sometimes, like, I just put on a bit of makeup today, right? I don't do this every day. And I'm like, I look so alive. Mm -hmm. What is this? And I realized it's the colors in the makeup 
you, it, a really smart trick is to see if you have these shades in your wardrobe. I'm really randomly into like blue tone makeup sometimes because I think it can make your teeth and the whites of your eyes look a little brighter, which is great for Zoom. But I'm like, you know what? I should get this color that I love to put on my lips. I should be wearing it as well. So kind of looking to your um, your makeup drawer, your makeup stash. This is another Canadian brand, G Beauty, that great blush pop. This is a wonderful color. I should get this in a dress. I think everyone looking in your makeup drawer, you'll find the colors that are tried and tested and look great on you. Thanks, Mo.